Every time I wake up in the morning, I wonder who she is. Music has always been a way for Rick Carr to express himself, the joys and the hardships, and this song, inspired by his diagnosis with Alzheimer's disease. It robs you of your life, of who you were, and what you've done, and those memories. I said, you know something? I uh, truly believe that I would like to be known for, as somebody that helped somebody else down the road, eh, so. And he is becoming the first Alzheimer's patient in the world to participate in a study that could forever change treatment of this disease. It's using a technology called focused ultrasound to break through the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier is like a plastic wrap surrounding some areas of the brain. Breaking it open offers a doorway to delivering medications directly and non-invasively to previously unreachable spots. Rick is fitted with this specialized helmet-like device, co-developed based on Sunnybrook research, and placed inside an MRI. There he is injected with microbubbles or microscopic bits of air that circulate in his bloodstream. The MRI helps guide ultrasound waves to precise areas in his brain that shake the microbubbles, temporarily opening his blood-brain barrier, seen here in these bright spots. Dr. Nir Lipsman is the lead investigator. It's what we call a phase one study. Uh, it's focused on safety uh, to figure out exactly uh, what, if any, are the, uh, the effects of having uh, the blood-brain barrier open temporarily. And for Rick, the attempt to open the blood-brain barrier worked. You see three, three by three, you can sort of faintly see them there, but you see a contrast enhancement in this region where we target it with a focus ultrasound. Dr. Sandra Black is the study's co-principal investigator. We just took two uh, ultrasound treatments to show that the blood-brain barrier can be opened. Um, it's very exciting. Um, I feel quite emotional about it because there's a lot riding on this and it's a whole new world of uh, possibilities, but we have to take one step at a time. We have to make it safe, sure it's safe. Rick is observed closely with follow-up brain scans and clinical tests. After one month, the procedure is done again on a larger area of his brain. And again, it works. This has gone exactly the way we hoped. In 2015, researchers at Sunnybrook made history by successfully and safely opening the blood-brain barrier in a person non-invasively. But Rick is the first patient with Alzheimer's disease to have this procedure. Phase one of the study will include five additional Alzheimer's patients. Dr. Claire Vohinanen helped develop the focused ultrasound technology with industry partner Insight Tech. It's uh, satisfying to get to this point, but still it's a long way to go. We need to uh, years of experiments before we can use it uh, widely for patients. Worldwide, one person is diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease every three seconds. That's why we need new ways of doing things, and focused ultrasound uh, is a very revolutionary way that we might be able to get important drugs into the brain. That's something future studies may explore if this one proves successful, thanks to patients like Rick. You can't, you can't stop time. You know, it's, uh, so you, what you do is you live your life the best you can. If I can help somebody down the road, you know, I'd be a very selfish person if I, if I didn't want to do that. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis. Thank you.